Hey guys, Target with Cycle and FPV. We are now doing part four of the uh, DIY kit on the uh, on the E250 build, and that's going to be the installation of the flight controller, which is the F3V4 uh, from HGLRC. And we're also going to go ahead and do the um, camera installation right here. All right, uh, because this is kind of simple and doesn't take very long, I figured we'd go do it at the same time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the camera installation. So let me kind of give you that right over here. We can get a shot of this and see how we're going to do it. All right, so. Unfortunately, uh, to do the camera, I think I'm going to go ahead and have to take the bottom plate off because I've got to get this bracket mounted right here and I've got to get these screws in. And the only way I can see doing that is to take the plate off so I can get the screws in through here. So uh, at this time, I might as well just go ahead and knock that out. And like I said before, as long as you haven't fastened it, you'll be all right. Um, so just go ahead and remove the uh, locking fasteners here. Guys, I got a buddy of mine named Ryan sitting next to me over there. He's actually running through this build kit video right now. So if you hear any noise in the background, uh, he's going to be watching the video and, and following along to make sure that there are no errors in it. So um, just kind of hang tight. If you hear some extra noise in the background, extra talking, that's going to be probably the video or him and me talking. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and remove... Uh, this plate which had I thought about it at the time I would have probably done this and <laughs> I guess if I'm doing this in this order then you guys are going to be stuck in the same position I'm in probably should have gone back and put a note there and I may go back and update if I haven't done it by the time you're watching this I may go back and update that video just to put some text in there that says to go ahead and do the um, camera mount but not everybody's getting a camera and sometimes you can mount it to the top plate as well and so if you do that then this would not be Necessary, but I'm going to mount mine to the bottom plate. Uh, I could have mounted it to the top actually. Now I realize that. Um, we'll just keep it to the bottom plate. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to take off this one more set of fasteners here so I can remove this bottom plate altogether. And then we'll put the camera on and then we'll get back to finishing this build or at least putting the flight control on. Okay. All right, so there we go. Remove that piece. All right, so here's our camera uh, right here. And here are some of the screws that came with it. These real small ones right here. All right, so the camera is gonna, if you look at this, the top of the camera, the, the way it says right here that this is the top part. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and just put that, and you can kinda clear it by putting it in the middle if you'd like. Uh, there's these three holes right here on the bracket. You can clear it uh, by putting it in there, all right? And then you can see you get full swivel uh, without any issues there. And then you can use these small screws. You'll need a Phillips to tighten this, so a very small Phillips head to tighten this. And uh, let's just go ahead and get that done. You gonna be able to follow that along, or is that gonna be too low? Yeah, I'm gonna wait. You sure? Yeah. You want some earphones? No, sorry, you go ahead. No, 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 it's no, all right. I'll, I'll I could, I could just some earphones. Well, you can jump to this part if you want. And work along with me. Uh, because all it's going to be, <coughs> at least the camera part, if you want. You want to do that? No, I want okay. the video. I want to go in order of the video. Okay. That way I can give you some feedback. And, and uh oh, well, we're, we're stopping Ryan from being able to work now, guys. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Um, well, okay. Let's just do this. I'll do this part then uh, and knock this out real quickly so we can get back to work. So you're going to put in your two screws. One on each side, and uh, let me knock that other one out real quick, and then we'll fasten that to the frame, and um, we should be pretty much done at that point with the camera. All right, so there we go. And the way I figure is I'm going to put it like this, right here, and that should... Uh, let me see, right about there actually, will probably be just fine. And I can run some small screws through that. So let me see what came, let me see what I got with this camera to see what screws come with it. I'm not even sure the right screws are gonna come to do this. So if not, um, I don't, I must be doing work outside, that freaked me out. I don't think that we're going to put some screws on here. So let me see if for right now I could just zip tie this camera in place. Um, just for the sake of getting this done, because it will require a different set of screws. So let me see, if I was to go through here, I 
Yeah, I guess I could do that. You know what? I'll I'll include the screws. Uh, I'll include, include the screws in the kit because I don't feel like this camera is going to stay on if I do it any other way. So let me go ahead and just put the uh, put some screws in here. So you can make this work. And I think what I'll do, Ryan, is I'll stop this portion of the video at the camera section, okay? Okay. Uh, so let me go ahead and get a... I gotta get used to where we put all the equipment now, so we got all the tools. So where is... Are these in the middle? Yeah, these ones. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and put the fastener on here then. Tighten that one down. All right, let me get to the other screw now. And you could put this bracket in before you do the camera screws if you want, if you, can get, if you need more room for that. I'm just gonna try to get this done while I can, like this. I think it'll probably be easier the other way. Let's just see if we can knock this out. Or not. All right, I think to make this easier, I will take the camera off. Just give me a second. Let's do this. If you can get it on there, I got fat fingers, guys. It doesn't work that easily for me. It's not a fat finger kind of install, my bad. Ryan, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, all right, here we go. So if you take the camera off, you can do the same thing, but at least you can access the slots here. So I'm gonna put this screw right through the second slot here and then flip this stand over. Oh my God, I can't get this thing to fit. Fastener on here. Let me get different from that one. Now I'll go with the silver one so I can see it better. Okay, put this fastener on here. We'll tighten that down, and this will be our bracket for our camera. Let me just get this last one on there. There we go. Slide it back just a little bit, and we will be done here in a second. So there's one. There's two. All right. Then you can go ahead now and put your camera back on there and then fasten your frame. There is nothing else going on this frame. So uh, once we put this camera in, we can go ahead and permanently fasten our bottom plate if we want. We just kind of get this to pop right in and I'm gonna put it on the middle holes right there. And right there. You'll kind of hear it pop in there. And then we're gonna go ahead Put those side screws back in. All right, now that our camera is mounted and it's solid on there, we can go ahead and make sure everything now can be fastened permanently. So I will put make sure our flight controller is back down where it needs to be. Right here. And then I'm going to go ahead now and get the arms fastened permanently as well, since we won't be taking this back off.
I'm just going to go around and make sure all these are in first, and then we'll go ahead and tighten them down. There's that. Now we can go ahead and begin to tighten these. Now I've only got two of the screws in here right now on each arm. I will put all four in, but uh, for right now, I'm just gonna end this video showing you how this should look with the camera on. And then we'll do the flight controller next, but I'm going to uh, get this part finished and show you where we go from here. And that way you can at least work on getting the camera done. You still need to put the camera wire in, so I'm gonna show you very quickly before I end this video what we're gonna do with that. And then once we do the flight controller, you're gonna see how, it'll, how it will integrate. So let's do, we got two more screws and we're just about done. Okay, so with this done now, and we did the motors yesterday, right? So we did all that, we got everything zip tied. You can see from the bottom here now, everything's spaced out. I did go ahead and put the other motor, uh, motor screws in and uh, I have one left to tighten down, which is going to be this one over here. So let me go ahead and add that real quick. All right. And so now our motors are all fastened. Wires are all run. Everything is soldered to the ESC, like we discussed yesterday. Let me just go ahead and clean it up here. All the rest of them are done. Our landing pads are on. So we know our quad's going to sit level. And everything is solid now, okay? Now I still have to put two more screws on each arm. But for right now, just to show you where we're at, We've got our zip tie, our, our wire zip tied down. This is going to be our ESC to flight controller uh, wire set here. This is our wire for our camera, so we can go ahead and actually plug that in right now. And uh, it's going to go with the pins up, so it's going to go from left on red to all the way to the right, which would be yellow. So go ahead and plug that in. And then we are going to, we know that our flight controllers are going to be right about here, and the wires for the camera are going to be up front. So just for the sake of getting this done, we can go ahead and stretch our wires, sit the camera straight, just stretch them all the way to the back here where the XT60 solders, and just cut that off right there. You're not gonna need any more wire than that, so let's cut that off. And then uh, go ahead and strip the wires about uh, three millimeters in length. Just like that. And then pre-tin them. Now for me, I'm gonna put that in solder, in flux paste. You don't have to use flux paste. You can use your flux pen if you want, or you don't have to use flux at all. I do because it, it seems to allow the solder to adhere better to this. So one, we're gonna twist these up now so you have no strands that are sticking out. All right, all right. Now, make sure you don't solder over the board because that solder, like I said before, it'll get hot. It'll go flying right off. Let me put my old man dirty goggles on here and let's get started. So we're gonna do, let me grab some solder. And we're just gonna to touch these very quickly. And that's gonna tin them up and be ready to solder. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. And as you can see now, those are all soldered pretend. They're, they're long, so we're gonna to have to cut them before we solder them, but these are ready to go. So that, what I was gonna do was make this part of the flight controller, but I think we, uh, when it came to the camera, we'll just do the camera first. So there's your camera. You can take the cap off there if you wanna see what it looks like. 
There you go. Let me show you kind of up here. There's your camera right there, all right? So there's your drone as it stands right now. The next thing we will do, which will be part five, will be adding this flight controller to here and soldering everything together. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, make sure to email me at targetcyclonefpv.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to, um, whatever it is, like us on Facebook, whatever you can to support us. God bless. Enjoy time with your family, guys, and fly safe, and we'll see you soon. All right, see you guys. Bye. Whoops.